From one mobster to another, Jerry Tillinghast was the feared enforcer for the Patriarcha crime family in Providence, and today he was in our studios. His life as a mobster is detailed in a new book, and as R.J. Heim reports, he says crime doesn't pay. It's new at 6. Tillinghast was a leg breaker for the late mob boss Raymond Patriarca and was one of the most feared mobsters in Providence. In hindsight, Jerry Tillinghast says it's a fantasy that being in the mob is glamorous. It's a tough road to go. The story's all in the book Choices when he became a partial, not full member because of his English and Irish heritage of the New England Mafia, based in Providence and ruled by Raymond L.S. Patriarca. He was found not guilty of involvement in the bonded vault trial in 75, but was sent to prison in 78 for the murder of mob loan shark George Basmagian. He's out of jail for good now, he says, because he's not involved in organized crime anymore, but he still abides by the code of silence regarding those who are still alive. I made my mistakes, paying the price, and I'm not moving back, I'm moving forward. The co-author, former East Providence police captain, in reviewing and, uh, the convictions in the Basmagian case for the book, is not so sure justice was always served. Having the benefit now of knowing some of the things that went on with the FBI and with Whitey Bulger and that whole thing that took place up in Boston, um, it, it has impacts in Rhode Island because, you know, Raymond Patriarca went to prison based on perjured testimony that the FBI was aware of. Crime don't pay. You lose everything you had going for you. And then you have to think to yourself, when you're in that cell counting the bricks on the wall, how'd this happen? Was it worth it? And it's nice to be able to lay down at night not worrying about any local law enforcement or anything, coming and breaking down your door. It's a nice feeling. R.J. Heim, NBC 10 News.